Let's continue. Welcome back, YouTube, if you're watching later. Thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying. Okay. Let's just see what I can do here. I can increase the armor of that. It costs money now. There's a money cost associated with it. I just noticed it. Make things a little stronger. Why not? Apparently can't enhance those, or those. Oh yes I can. Ferocious scale. Um, apparently I can do classic stuff, but no. Um, this is, this is an easy one, this one. The two that I, I'll probably be swapping in and out of. Stealth nightshade, cool. Mm -hmm. huh? <sighs> what else can I do? Uh, I mean, I want to stick to. Wait, really? That's interesting. I think for now, I think for now that should do. I doubt I'm going to wear the Hylian stuff. Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's a little bit of a buff. I need pants. Well, stat is good. None of these are upgradable, so I guess that's the next thing I should buy. A set of pants somewhere. I love the the backpacks they're wearing as well. It's funny. Wanted to be a nuisance. <laughs> they are carrying dynamite barrels, so I should probably stay away from that. Oh. Which means there should be a shrine here. Usually there's one directly next to these. Hmm. Apparently not here. Strange. <laughs> yeah, ha ha. Probably got another upgrade now.
How's this change? Ooh, this looks... This looks way more sinister. Oh no, this is probably this is ooh, this is way worse. Okay, something's wrong. Okay, uh, do I have fire? I don't have a torch. There's no torch nearby. Huh. This is this is different. The way to know the shadows will collect when I'm wrong. <gasps> it's kicking me out immediately. I may need to bring a torch from an external source here. Because there's no torch here. Assuming that works, I don't know. The other thing we can do... I don't think this works the same way. Yeah, what the heck, it pretty much instantly... The problem is I need a torch. I'm gonna go see if I can get a torch. I know where there's one. The torch in the previous game gave you the path you needed to take. It's not that I needed fire to stop the, the mist, it's just... It gave you a sense of direction. Wait, where am I? Follow this path out. Okay, got it. Hmm. It doesn't look like it's something I can dive onto from above either. Unless there's some other entrance this time. You know what? I'm gonna find the torch, but... That island in Breath of the Wild that I was just... Disappointed that there was nothing there. I bet there's something there now. I'll, I'll check the torch thing. I haven't really explored the underground, so who knows? Maybe. Maybe there's an approach from underground. I have a couple of ideas. The underground area just looked massive and I just didn't want to get as a torch. Alright, so I got a torch. But the other thing I'm going to try... Hang on. How's a guy supposed to pick a path to Death Mountain? Trek up a mountain should be a red hot adventure. Oh. Okay. A while back, Death Mountain was super active. We're, take, we're talking full force, non stop, red hot lava. 
but now the lava's cooled down and hardened. It's even, I hate to say it, it's made a new road that's easy to walk. And ease, my friend, is the opposite of red hot lifestyle. Now the route going up this mountain is from Foothill Stable East, on the other hand. That's an oddly, that's an old dangerous road, absolutely crawling with monsters. That's what I call red hot. But uh, my muscles aren't exactly ready to take the heat right now, so that's makes the decision more complicated. Okay. Um, I mean, look. This is the other thing that maybe... Maybe giving myself some glow. Because I have a ridiculous amount of these mushrooms. So maybe. You would think it'd be one of these two things. Who wanted the fight over this? I'll look at the quest log, but someone wanted a fight over it, so I got one. Don't remember. I find it strange that it kicks you out right away. We'll see. destroy that. <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing this is not going to work. 
It doesn't have the same trail as before. Yeah, it's already. So it's not this. Yeah, it's neither of these two things. I got the feeling this is an exit this time. It, there's no way it would be getting me right away. See if there's anything I can figure out from this. So it's interesting because there was a spot here that. Here it stopped for a sec. No. Nah. I saw it die down for a sec. I'm trying to see if I can find a spot where it. Yeah, no. Okay. Interesting. All right, I'll leave this for now. Of course I'd change it. See the shrines from here. Really, camera? It's hard to get me because <laughs> of the bombs. I mean, it makes up for it because there's more arrows now, so you just have to do real hunting. I can understand why. Oh, whoops. I'm not, uh, I'm not here to mess around. Just have to hunt stuff now. The bombs are great. But they, they didn't really have a downside. <laughs> it's just this thing that you could keep using and chaining eventually. Out of the doubt that's anything. <sighs> Looks very welcoming, I will say. It 
Screw it. What have I got to lose? It's already starting to affect me. There's a sky island. Directly above this, which leads me to believe the only way in is from the sky. Why put me back here, though? I can't tell where I am. Why hasn't the effect of this worn off yet? I can see on the map. I'm in the middle of the river. There we go. Otherwise, I won't make it. Ocean, river, close. No, it's not. I mean, if we're going to go with that level of consistency, you may as well call your bathtub a lake. My grandmother had wheels, she did be in a bicycle. in that lone tree, but to be honest, I think the way you get up there, you can kind of see it. There's an island in the sky. Which, you know what, I guess that's why they're encouraging me to go to Elden region. I bet that's, that's the reason why. Whatever we're doing in Elden will probably lead to this. It's okay, I don't mind. I'm going to beat the Hinox. Kilton. Why didn't that work? 
Oh, that's why. Fake garden. Dude. Yeah, these companions, I tell you what. Chillin' guy. This is a traveler's item. Yeah. <laughs> Such a dumb sound. I figure there's gonna be Kilton medals in this, so I'm just gonna murder every Hinox I come across. And Chillin is lucky to have a sidekick like me. Uh huh. I'm just happy that this is just. An instant improvement of uh, ravioli. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Alright, what what is happening here? Wait. No, no. There's more to this. There's a lot here. What is this? Oh, no. This is a Yiga hideout. Yeah! <laughs> um, look, I don't want to mess with the Yiga. Because if it's anything like Breath of the Wild, this just means that they're just going to harass me for the rest of the game. So I'm good. Let's not do that yet. But at least I know where it is. In fact... There we go. Now I know. We kind of clicked off like, wait a minute. Where have I seen this before? Beep. It's just downhill. <sighs> There's nothing to use here, right? This is a ride or die situation here. Beep. 
Wait. I'm not leaving without you. Okay. This is the only annoying things about them is when you need to get on them. There we go. It's working. It's working. That is most definitely an assassin, now that I know that you go in this game. It's a uh, luge. It's like a luge. That's, I believe, the term. <laughs> oh, okay! I mean, thanks for stopping me. Just this horse cart materializes out of nowhere. Yeah. I guess that's one way to stop. Well, now that I'm here, I may as well. Fire and ice. Is this just about getting the correct size? Okay. Let's try. what this one's about. Okay, hold on. Didn't need the torch. Thank <laughs> you. 
I know this is dumb, but I gotta try. Talking about advanced physics now. Hmm. Oh, this isn't working. Detached. Interesting. What's it trying to get me to do here? I think I just have to shrink it again. So small but not too small. That'll do. Interpreting this, maybe let's just go ahead. Ah, Fuck, I want to grab it. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is this, an ice cube for ants? That's an attach option. Oh, the ice cube is still part of this? Let him out. Okay, so now I have two of them. It's all well and good. Oh, 
Why'd I get the second ice cube for? I don't see a second switch or something. Have I missed the obvious here? Three ice cubes. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of get it. Do I? This is so weird. I don't think there'd be anything up here, so what is- well... Careful not to get it too close. This is stupid. Okay. I, what I get the feeling I just have to put the plate on there, but I guess, sure. Alright, cool. I don't know. Um, I, I think the end, I, I definitely overcomplicated it. Maybe just a little bit. How many is that now? That's like we're in our, we're in the forties now, right? 
Yeah, almost. About a hundred Koroks. The little corrupt tent is still there. I like the weapons that I'm carrying right now. It just looks very barbarian-like. Who am I? Yeah, no, that's a Yiga. Without question. It's a trap! I'm not falling for it. Another one of these symbols. Okay. Is this going to be something, or am I just going to be disappointed again? They grab from up here. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, look, this is scary. <laughs> Clump. Interesting. <laughs> oh, the Korok spear. Bursting materials attached to the spearhead can be reused again and again. Wait, really? So if I... If I were to attach... Where is it?
Um, again, there's there's nothing here. I guess there was the spear, but. <laughs> Is with this island. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Another disappointment. Uh, now. Give me a sec. Don't want main quests. He's born of water. Um, Hateno Village, alright. That's where we want to go. I want to resolve the photo thing. You know what? Hold on. We talk to Robbie in Central Hyrule first. Plus it'll let me, um, do some upgrades. Oh, they have more now. Yeah. They're selling stuff you can't find in the Korok forest. Yeah. I smell Korok seeds. Dance is so good. empty on the seeds. Where is Robbie? Great job getting the picture of the figure that Joshua was looking for. She was pretty happy to see that statue. And I was thrilled to show you how to use the camera, inspired even. The parapad has even more potential functions, you know. Listen up, big update here. The parapad can be equipped with a sensor that, that detects shrines. Come on, act more impressed. I am the first one in all of Hyrule to who noticed the shrines after the upheaval, so I created a sensor to detect them. Only thing is, I can't set it up here at Lookout Landing. It would be nearly impossible unless I'm at the parapad research lab in Hateno Village. That's right, it's a lab dedicated to the enhancement of the parapad, which Era and I developed. Once I'm in that lab, and you join me there, I can further improve your parapad, starting with the sensor. You'll find the lab in East Nekluda, off the southeast corner of Hyrule. On its far side is Hatino Village. Go a bit further than that, and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you. It's a cutting ledge 
Climbing Edge Lab. For now, Josh's investigations are my main priority. Until she gets further along, I'll be staying here for a while. Uh, I need to do more of this then. Okay. I read this before. Uh, let's resolve some things before we go down that literal rabbit hole. <laughs> So who was it? Hang on. Didn't catch the person. Don't need to catch the person. It's got a quest marker there. Oh, you. Did you bring me some reference material for a choo-choo pattern? There you go. Oh, all right. Oh, so that's a choo-choo. You can feel the inspiration bleeding into the reality. I'll start developing this pattern once. <laughs> Old tone. With your help, I've made a pretty pattern. You can have the fabric I worked on, thanks. <laughs> when you'd get a different result with some quality reference, I bet I betcha I could make other patterns too. In fact, I made a list of patterns. I'd like you to die. Ugh, stop. Okay. I have a new reference. Oh, that's a Lionel. Alright. Feel the inspiration. Oh boy. Okay, listen, we're going to be skipping across this text. Animal Crossing style here. That's a cool one. Okay, I guess that's it for now. Apparently Hynox didn't count as one. Yeah. That's pretty much a tutorial for the rabbit hole that that is. Uh, I guess we're done in this area. The Beckoning Woman, alright. I guess that's the closest one. We have some loose ends that I need to just make sure are done. Oh. Okay, good. It saved the fact that I... It didn't... Okay, I mean... I'm, I'm, I just want to leave, sir. That's all. I'm not here to fight. I have no interest in fighting. Get detected. Oh my, you are drenched. 
My apologies for leaving you behind. I was overtaken by concern for my friend. She was resting safely out of sight. It is the only way to stay safe. I am sorry the path is so poor. Could you possibly go, go to the top of that cliff? Uh -huh. We can meet right where you can see the fallen debris. Really? Climbing? No ravioli power this time. There's no chance I'm getting up there. I mean, even with the slip protect... <laughs> <laughs> yep, no, they, they've totally improved the climbing system by introducing slip resistance, but also making surfaces more slippery in the process. Nintendo is the kind where it was, if it was boiling hot and you were really thirsty and you wanted a drink, the solution would be to put some ice cubes in some boiling water and then be like, here, that's what you asked for. climb this. Okay, maybe here. Well, I mean... At least there's that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I still haven't fought one of them. Probably worth it, I mean... It depends what they're... Really? Just get up! It depends what they're... Uh... <laughs> Sorry. I just... I I know that there's slip resistance, but dude, it's, it's still horrible. What is, what is this? Bell? May myself quite the tower. Yeah, just look at that. Oh. And I put a bell right on top. Why well, you ask? Because I thought of a great new game. Test the strength. Want to give it a go? Test the strength. Oh. Yep, your goal is to make the bell at the top here, the tower ring as loud as you can. Throw something at it with as much force as you can. Do that and the bell will answer. Oh. You're welcome to all the stuff over there. Stuff left over. Okay. Oh. Once you ring the bell, you only get one ring per round. Okay. <laughs> is there a time limit? It doesn't look like there is. How would I... 
don't even know what I'm gonna do here to make the bell ring. I'm not sure what to make here. I know it wants me to get creative, but... I'm not really sure this will work. just try a ramp and just launching a rocket into it with a boulder attached and see how it goes. This is a little frustrating to control. Okay. It won't lift any higher. I think the range of this ability is is a bit short. No, that's, yep, that's what I was trying to do. Thanks, game. <laughs> what? I didn't attach it. I just got stuck. Resigned to how stupid this is. Oh my god. Okay, that's, yeah. Okay, that's facing the right spot at least. I need the ramp to be longer.
I mean, that look like that looks like it could hit. Oh, this is so stupid. That's not what I was trying to do. Is that a rocket? I can't tell. That's not a rocket. What is this? I don't know what that one is. Oh, it's one of these peg things. all out on this one. I don't think I got this, but... Okay, now I need something to hold it up. To brace it on an angle. Don't, don't you be going anywhere. Okay. Stupid. Okay, and then... There we go. Alright. That, that looks about right, doesn't it? Just gotta make some slight adjustments. It's kind of aimed a little lopsided. Admittedly, I probably could have picked something better. Okay, that, that looks about right to me. <laughs> it's gonna overshoot it. So now we just need one of these time bomb things. I thought that's what time bombs were supposed to do. Instead, they just blow shit up. Okay. They're supposed to dead set off other devices. They do not. Instead, it's blow up my ramp, so that's fine. I just have to make a new ramp now. Rocket still. <laughs> Fine, we can, we can still do this, we can still do this. Thank you. 
Wow, this shit is frustrating. Why does it have to do that? Why does it have to make it so it snaps off like that? Dude, really? It just seems to be such a strange restriction. Makes it near impossible to control it, and then it's just like, haha. Okay. I think honestly, it's just good enough to place this in front of the ramp and not attach it, and worry that the physics are just gonna go jank. Right, that should do. And now... Uh. Holy shit. Okay. Alright, now I need to... Sword spin so they all go off at once. Hey, it worked. <laughs> it worked. Oh. Well, I thought that was a monster ring. That bell sure is loud. That must have been 89 on the mega ding scale. Take this. Really? That's it? Oh. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy it worked. But here's the thing about this. 89 on a scale of what? To 100? 500? 1,000? Such it's, it's basically an arbitrary number. <laughs> like, what's the measure? 89 out of what? I, I mean, I'm, I'm surprised it worked. <laughs> it must be him, then. Oh, I'm so rude. You have my apologies. Come now, my friend is waiting ahead. Ah. She's waiting nearby around the debris on the opposite cliff. I'll go ahead and let her know that you're coming. <laughs> It is a bit far off, but I know you'll be able to make it. I'm happy it worked. What I'm not happy about is the reward of one opal for that. This doesn't seem like a worthy time investment. I'm sorry for all of that. It was important for me to test you. Blonde hair, courage to overcome a challenge, and then another challenge, and then another. Oh, and your disgusting, unwavering commitment to do good. The other Princess Zelda's bodyguard, Swordsman Link. It's a Yiga. <laughs> I'm so glad to finally meet you. Now I can take you to the last stop in our little journey. <laughs> your grave! <laughs> Thought so. Mm. 
Ooh, there's multiple of them. Yeah, don't help strangers, that's pretty much the moral of the story. I don't like fighting these things. I'll let you off this time, but don't expect mercy next time. Prepare yourself. Yeah! Hey, hey, partner. Well? So this is where your investigation took you. It looks like you really got yourself out on a limb here. I've been scouting from the skies, trying to get to the bottom of the story. I heard that woman was luring people away. I thought I heard her voice, so I swooped on down, and hey, here you are. So tell me, what have you unearthed? Oh. I see. Who could have guessed that this whole story would be an elaborate trap set by the Yiga clan? If you didn't know, there are a group of assassins trying to bring down the Kingdom of Hyrule. I heard they were good at disguising themselves, but playing the part of a villager, I never would have guessed. And all to flush out the swordsman who protects the princess. Ah. They thought, you, a young up-and-coming reporter who just happens to have blonde hair, they believed you were actually the swordsman? That's just bad luck for you. You've definitely got some skills, though. If you can escape from the Yiga clan, I'm proud of you, partner. I'm glad I don't have to write a headline like, Junior Reporter falls to the cruel blade of the Yiga in pursuit of the truth. Mm. We've worked together to chase three of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. I didn't think making progress would go so smoothly, you know. I guess it helps to have a dedicated partner. Go on and add this to your little egg nest. Okay. Oh! A bonus from Tracy. Anyway, it's time I took off and turned these unusual details into an article. You take care, partner. So long! Some of the puns don't make sense. On, while we're out here talking about Gorilla Glue, like, I don't think when something's broken, adding super glue to it it doesn't really fix it all the time. <laughs> it's just... It's kind of just making the inevitable delayed at best. I need more arrows. Go there. Haha, uh -huh. I just saw this here and I figured I'd get it while I'm here. Oh uh, yeah, that also reminds me. Go back here. There was uh, a sign, a Korok sign. That I didn't follow because I went to the Lost Woods. It's over here. Oh, no, this is just Goron City signs. Different. All right, I thought it was a Korok sign. Anyway. Um, I guess let's go here.
the other musician. I hear they are. Aha, I know that face. Yes, that's a face I know. Traveller, have you come to meet with the Great Fairy? Yes. No, am I wrong? You're not here to meet with the Great Fairy Kesa? Perhaps you came here to visit Outskirts Stable. I'm sorry to say that the Great Fairy here has also withdrawn into her flower bud and hasn't come out for a while. She must be scared to appear, just like what happened at Woodland Stable. This Great Fairy used to enjoy hearing Piper play in our troupe. She loved the sweet notes of his flute. So I'm sure the sound of his flute would cheer her up now, but I'm afraid Piper isn't with us right now. Yeah. Oh, Piper is a young flutist with the stable trotters. But one day he took his leave from the troop, and we haven't seen him since. A traveler from Farron to the south southeast said they heard the sound of a flute at Highland Stable, but... Okay, well, can't do that now. Okay, um... Yeah, we're going here, because... It's the shrine quest of uh, the keys born of water, so I didn't solve that one. Thought it'd be something to do with this, but apparently not. What if it's just choo choo jelly? There's just stray rockets here. Fish could be another thing. Oh, maybe there's pictures on it. I never really look closely at them. Water can sometimes change its form. Give keys born of water to the three altars, the sacred shrine shall appear. Water can sometimes change its form. Three keys born out of water. What the fuck? Give keys born out of water. The 
This is either it's either a literal key or a metaphorical key. I'm gonna try each of these. Have a look around, see if there's anything. I did look in the nearby. Like, I thought if there was going to be anything here relating to it, there would be. But I didn't see anything. There's three ponds nearby, but there's nothing in this first one. This one, yeah, I mean... I'm gonna hate the answer to this because it's gonna be something simpler than what I think it is. Water can change its form. Ice? Well... I didn't... I don't know. If you can make an ice block. But I would need a starting point, and then it's just the fact that it says keys. Oh, this feels like a Zelda 1 thing. <laughs> it's just. It's phrased in a way that I'm just gonna hate. I don't know, the closest thing I got is like an ice block. But where to get ice blocks? Hang on. Let's have a look what's nearby. It can't be a gas, because how, how would I put a gas there? Let's have a look. Rocket. What is this? That's a fire in the middle. Wait, is it? Hang on. I may have messed up by... Oh, wait. Hold on. Ugh. I might have to load. 
Okay. I'm gonna be annoyed if this day spawns. Okay, that's one. Okay. Please tell me the other. Okay, the others are good. Let's save some time. <laughs> Ice sandwich. What? Is it melting? God, it's already melting. Oh, I've lost. That's two. I need to get to the other one quickly. This might work. Accidentally, we'll see. Please still be okay. The other one shouldn't. Oh, it went back. Okay, good. It's kind of nice it did that for me. I may have to make another one. This one seems already tiny. Just hold it out in the sun, I guess. Oh, come on. Just a little bit more. Catch it there. So, yeah, I had no idea that ice emitters existed. Okay, that's resolved. Take it off. I oh, see it damages the shield pretty badly. It's alright, I guess it served its purpose.
already worthy. Have a look at what else uh, I left out. I wonder if the Lost Woods are just behind maybe a heart limitation. That's probably another reason I can't get in. The Master Sword was in the previous game. It's either you have to drop from above or uh, it's like some other thing. I got the feeling it's from above. It's just it's no coincidence there's an island directly above it. Okay. Skeletal horse. Hang on. Right, so we should be heading there. Going back in the direction of Hebra. Because I didn't fully complete the retail area. You could tell, but you feel like you're not allowed. No, I'm just thinking out loud. I don't want the answer. <laughs> I'm thinking out loud. Just so it's not just dead air whenever I need to think. It's just, all right, I need to think about this problem. I'm going to stop talking for five whole minutes. Making a pit stop here. Of course, I've walked around the whole thing. bit better. Okay, uh, gonna go to Hebra. Well, like, we're going this region of it. That's on high ground. I wish I had Path of the Hero. Be able to see what I was doing. Where I've been, where I haven't been. It's okay.
phone decided it wanted an update. Oh, well. Uh, I just did the ice thing. That's it. It was ice. There was a frost emitter nearby, and I just used it to form ice. It wasn't too bad. And then I just went to turn in uh, some of the orbs into health. I'm also going to pop in on Tracy and see if maybe I can get one of these rewards. I doubt it, but... Maybe. Ah, oh. oh, Link, nice to see you hard at work. How's it going? Are you pen getting along? Okay. Oh. Ah. Yeah, well... Can I, can I get the pants at least? Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess not. <laughs> too, too few. It's okay. You may pass. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna purchase the pants. It's just... I mean, okay, I have these, but these can't be upgraded. That's the problem. Pantalones. But the sound of this music, it just makes me feel like Link's entering Mafia territory. This has like a... I haven't seen The Godfather, for the record, but... <laughs> like, I'm gonna say it has Godfather vibes. I can, I can say it has the vibes or something without necessarily watching it. Just talking about, like, a favor. I have to do the reader elder a favor. Not this part, but it's just the part. There's a particular instrument where it just it has that vibe. That's one of those movies that I feel like I should watch, but I haven't seen it. Or you know what? Maybe I have just at a young age because my uncle loved watching those kind of movies and. Definitely when I was hanging out with him as a kid, like, sometimes he would watch that stuff. But I think a lot of the time I'd just be playing on my Game Boy, so I wouldn't even notice. this part. Huck. I've walked past the clothing store a few times, haven't I? Need any warm clothes? Oh. Ooh. I'm here to sell. Oh. Okay, see. <laughs> I'm just selling all my gems. I'm not going to use them to make magic.
I just need the pants now. Ooh. Why are the pants a thousand? Like, I don't, I don't understand the discrepancy uh. here. <laughs> just look at the price scaling. Headdress 650, chest piece 500, pants thousand. Oh. Some fucking luxury pants. What is what is the reasoning behind the pants being so expensive? Okay. It makes no sense. You would think the headpiece would be the cheapest because it uses it doesn't really use much fabric or materials, and uh, the chest piece would be the most expensive thing. But no pants. Yeah, I don't even know what part of the movie I'm referencing. It's just, for me, just the stereotypical, you know, uh, crime syndicate movie type thing. I'm their only customer. Uh, yes, that's... That's great business logic there. It's like, hmm, we're not making enough money. Let's overcharge our existing customers to make up the money that we're not making. That'll keep us in business. We know this strategy works because uh, cinemas in Australia, that's what they're doing, and they're totally successful in that regard. Certainly not having cinemas in Australia shut down. Don't go to the movies anymore, it's too expensive. I know, right? Like, for the price of two adults to go there, you could easily go to a nice restaurant. Get a good meal in. And then, uh, I don't know, go watch something on Netflix or whatever. Why is this not traveling up? I picked the wrong one, didn't I? There we go. Wait for it to be free on TV. Yeah. Well. I mean, it's just the, the Mario movie is the last thing that I saw. I mean, movies that are coming out nowadays, it's just... The same six, seven movies being released. I'm a bit fatigued with superhero stuff. It's just uh, there's too many of it. You didn't pay. The last time you went was for the Mario movie, but it was a party and you didn't pay for it. Well, that's good. Man, that would have been one. Just consider that, like. For that birthday you went to, just imagine the money they would have had to have spent, right, to organize that. And consider that money, if you were to throw a normal birthday party that doesn't involve the cinemas and food and all that stuff, what you could have done. The movie's already available for streaming. <laughs> Didn't have to wait that long for it to be available for streaming. Now, granted, it is an experience, and I get it. Like, the Mario movie is is not really the best example, because it's a case of just, oh. No, that movie is something that doesn't come by very often, and yeah, sure. I mean, right next to me, I have the, the popcorn bucket, which is now 
holding all my Game Boy games in here. And I'm glad I got it. There was no bucket. Uh, probably the cinema you went to. But I, yeah, I mean, it was a uh, it was a pretty global thing. Because a few streamers I I watch, um, they're American and they they got it. I think one of them was from Staten Island as well. So like, it's not it's not that far away. There's a Lionel up here. It's probably worth fighting it. Really? That stinks. Yeah. Is this a different color? No, it's just a stand- oh, this is a standard one. So this one's even weaker than before- yeah, I'm fighting this thing. Already got my shield, huh? Alright, we're bringing out the big guns for this one. Oh. You know what would help? Equipping a shield. Who's the real MVP here? That new attack is certainly something. Use one of the weaker ones. It's, it's already. Oh, there goes my fancy spiky shield. out of uh, arrows. I'm gonna have to uh, look at acquiring some from Beetle. I know I can do this with the quick menu, but I, I just want to... Get like a little bit of a mental break. <laughs> the spear spear! Oh. Get the Lionel shield at least.
Lionel Saberhorn. Lionel Bow. Lionel Shield. Lionel Macehorn. Okay, uh, we're doing... Um, just go. Should be at the end. Uh, Saberhorn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a cool sword. along this road here. I don't really want to rush to, uh, the next area. It's, it's, it's encouraging me to go to Elden, but I mean, there's still so much to do here. Look at this. Nice photo. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. We had our differences, but now you're my friendly, friendly bear. Why couldn't they do this to every animal, honestly? I want to live my Donkey Kong dreams, you know? Um, admittedly, I don't really need to go anywhere. I want to check this out. But the novelty of riding around on a bear. Sure. Don't betray me. Good. Don't be bear betray me. This one's probably like a dumb idea. But the rest of it should be solid. Oh, for fuck's sake, where? It's a yaha ha. Yeah. 
Clip. Oh, cool. That worked. This is just a guess. Good guess. Do I really? I don't have an axe or anything. It's kind of surprising. Okay, well. Way further up. I think I need to do the underground to start getting these shrine sensors going as well. I think this is hilarious. Oh wait, it doesn't work. So... That's so weird. There was that one flag that... dropped its, its frame rate to... half, for some reason. There's a fire on that uh, hill. You there, are you here because you noticed my signal fire? Yeah, it's about time someone did. So you got spotted by some monsters. Uh. They want to snatch the supplies I collected from Snowfield Stable. Those pests, normally I'd have dealt with them no problem. Uh. But against the swarm, there wasn't much I could do but set a signal fire and wait for help put to arrive. Sadly, unless you've got a pair of wings, I doubt you can reach the monsters up mm. there. Just have to hang tight. Okay, uh... I still make an axe. I need an axe, so... Where are they? They're up here. Um, I could probably get them. Oh, no, I can definitely get them now. I can definitely cut them now. It's just gonna require a little patience, but I can get them. Hey! I was gonna cut down some trees and do the same thing, but this works too. Hold on, this... What is this? Oh, let's make a shelter for them. Make a bus shelter. Ok, 
Okay, where are they? Alright, they're up here. Okay. And so begins the lengthy process. So dumb. I am making this a little more complicated. Because I've moved it a little, but it should be okay. I should fix it. Oh shit. Damn it. Couldn't grab it in time. getting harder to do. I mean, it's still working. As long as I can keep climbing. Eventually I'll reach, a, I'll reach a height which I can snipe these birds. Whoa. It's a pretty... Let's see how we are now. You don't even have wings. How did you fight monsters so high up? Oh. Eh, who cares? What well, matters is you did it. Great work. Now I can get these supplies from Snowfield Stable back to my village. Please, let me give you something for your efforts. Ah. It's less than you deserve, but it's also all I have. Oh. Okay. Hip. That worked. Another base. Okay, it's stables over there. Oh, 
Oh boy. Time to help the president. Oh no, that, yep, that looks sort of totally normal. to do is just seal it so then it doesn't fall forward. That was brilliant, I would have never have thought of it. Oh, right. Let's get him secured while he's still standing. Ah! Perfect. Your help, President Hudson, is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. <laughs> Another sleepover ticket. Still haven't used them. Why can't I ride the moose? See, that should be an option. new. Before I uh, do the shrine, can you just give me like 30 seconds to minute chat? I just need to go to the bathroom quickly, but uh, I'll be back quickly. I drank a lot of water, <laughs> so I don't want any distractions.
Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna do the shrine now. And then we'll look at uh, what's at the stable. There's someone missing in the mountains. But first I figured we'd come here first. Oh yeah, and there's a tower. Yeah, I don't remember towers are different. Okay. In we go. Got guards. Uh, what can I use here? I'll just use this. This is fine. Ah! Oh. <laughs> the stick went over the edge. Okay. Okay, I thought maybe I could tear the door off, but no. Okay, what have we got to work with here? Question mark? Oh no, there's no way. Okay, I think. Gotta be a way around this. Ah. Ha. Don't even worry about it. Okay. Can't bring it with me. Should be able to sneak past this though.
So much for stealth. Interesting. Does this work? Oh. I guess it does. How many... How many do I have to put in? There's a... Uh, this is a pretty elaborate one. Why is this so elaborate? that. It's not that it's hard, as there's a lot of steps involved. There's a lower floor. see any sign of how to get below. Probably the first one where I had to look around properly. I feel like I'm not getting closer to this. Huck. What have I missed? I've missed something obvious. I don't have a key. I've missed a chest somewhere. Where have I missed a chest? I'm going back to the start. There's something crucial that I've missed. Wait, can I even... I can't even get back up this way. What I've missed is the key for this part, so... Let's see. Where is key? some tragedy this first one was supposed to drop it drops the key 
and I, I've murdered it and it's gone off the edge or something. <laughs> there should be a chest that's obvious. There's also a part that's lower, so hang on. Let's see if there's anything we can see off the edge. Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna hate the answer because it's gonna be something minor I overlooked. See, I did all this. Maybe it's something... Like a floor tile I pull? There's a lower section, but where? I haven't really seen an entrance to a lower area. And it all requires that ball to come out. Am I going crazy or have I exhausted all the options? I had, I had to have overlooked one minor thing. Yeah, I don't see anything either. It's almost like- oh wait, hang on. No, this is just back here. It's almost like something's missing. I mean, I can grab this, but this doesn't really do it much good. It's locked in here. The only thing I haven't done is run into that. Oh, okay. Wow, that's bullshit. <laughs> I don't like- I, I hate that, I'm sorry. Because it's, it's one of those things where it's just... You get conditioned that red laser equals bad. You don't, you don't want to touch the red laser. But I mean, see, I, I could just very well do this. I need the key. Really? <laughs> Doesn't open from the inside, okay. I see. Alright, now comes the fun part. Really? Probably because the ball's in the way. Okay, and now... You have to just ride across this. And I should have fixed the ball to the thing. Uh oh. Yo. <laughs> Let's rewind. 
Okay. That was a lot. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Looks like a massive gap. I don't know why I haven't learnt my lesson from the previous game. There's nothing behind the shrines ever. It just looks large enough like maybe there is. I can get another heart now, so that's good. Uh, I guess check the stable for rumors and then head into the mountains. I think once I feel like I've done enough here, I'll do underground stuff because we need to get Robbie to upgrade the slate. That's gotta happen. There we go. Ah. The story is some really something. Mind going through it again just to make sure I have all the details right? Oh. Sure, no problem. We've been taking care of a very rare animal for Princess Zelda, a golden horse. Well, we saw a photo of it, but the poor thing ran away from our stable. Mm. Hmm. Princess Zelda's horse vanishing like that is a pretty big story, but tell me again, why'd the horse run off? Oh. That's the troubling part, isn't it? When it happened, I'd finished tending to the horses and was taking a bit of rest in the stable. Then that gentle creature began making terrible sounds, neighing and bucking around so hard it shook the stable. So you went outside to see what was wrong, didn't you? Mm. Yes, exactly. And there she was, Princess Zelda. After all this time, she was right in front of our stable. But then the princess came closer and the golden horse thrashed harder. Uh. Then that animal broke free and bolted away like nothing I've ever seen before. I couldn't help staring at that crazed creature. And when I looked back at the princess, she was just gone. It happened so fast. So you lost sight of the horse and then Princess Zelda vanished on the spot. That's all strange from start to finish. My little sources tipped me off about this, but I have to say, I thought it was going to turn out to be nothing. Much. Hey partner, you're here. I should have known it was you there. Just look at you, tiptoeing up like this and getting your ear in. You've got the makings of a real reporter. Oh, is this someone from the else from the newspaper? That's right, new partner, plenty of gusto, a lot of promise. Would it be alright if he listens in? Now, please, tell us anything else you can remember. Anything at all. Mm. The part that really bothers me is the poor animal acting that way. That horse truly loved the princess. She rescued it and protected it. She doted on it. But the horse was terrified, and for the life of me, I can't understand why. Okay. Princess Zelda is known far and wide for her compassion. I can't imagine our princess being terrifying at all. Hold on, I think I did catch the briefest glimpse of the princess's face, though I couldn't have seen that right, but she had such a cold expression. She's been full of warmth when she's been here before. Maybe the princess was furious that I let the horse get away. Ah. I, I really should find that animal and bring it back here for her. Ah. But that poor horse galloped north and never looked back. I'd go in search of that steed, but with the huge monster that's flying around up north, it's too dangerous for me. Oh no. 
The best thing I can do is keep the horses home here in the stable nice and clean, just in case it returns. Ugh, I just hope someone finds that sweet creature and brings it back here safely. Oh no, I'm gonna have to fight. I'm gonna have to fight. It's a dragon. What's the news? Update on the Great Fairy, please. Okay, so I mean, it, it, this isn't like how it was before. Yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Wow. <laughs> Probably not enough to be honest. What is this? That looks cool, but I mean, is the cooking really that worth it? So what is it? It's wheat, butter, meat, pepper, milk. I'm gonna prove a point. Like, it's either they've improved the system or it's still. still not great. I should have all that, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's just talk to her just in case. Yeah. Definitely have milk, definitely have wheat, definitely have meat, definitely have butter, and pep. Now, if they've improved the system, this is going to be a good buff. If they haven't, it's just going to be a basic buff. <laughs> yep, the system still sucks. There's, there's no point to learning these recipes because they're just inferior to just stacking ingredients, and I can't believe they they left it like this. It should be that the things that you learn recipe-wise, they just they're just better. They should give you a mid-tier buff, especially if it involves five ingredients like that. It's just it's dumb. It doesn't even it fails on two fronts. It doesn't heal me for much. It only heals me for six. And it's just a low level resistance. It is so stupid. <laughs> Ultimately cooking, you just stack either five of the same ingredient or four ingredients and a dragon horn if it's affected by duration. And that's, those are the most effective recipes. Three, two, four, one, and five. Those are the most effective recipes in the game and they did not change it. Man, these wolves are tanky. Have I seen any dragons? I've seen four. This makes five. I have to fight this thing. Or I guess I can avoid it. I don't have to fight it. But the thing is, it's gonna get in the way of me getting the golden horse. Ah, <sighs> okay, what have we got? I think for this I have to use cold resist. And I'm gonna have to go like this. I saw one flying on the cliffs. I saw one on Bridge of Hylia. There was one in the Colosseum. And this is number four. I mean, this is cool, because it's like a throwback to uh, a Zelda 1 boss. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, this is... That was with Cold Resist as well. I don't have normal food. So it's gonna overwrite the buff. Oh, this this is normal food. Okay.
cool though. It's okay, I got the head. One more, one more, one more. We're going for a heavy hitter weapon. This isn't too bad if you have cover. Okay. Ah! Hammer angle went all awkward when I tried to climb it. Oh, piss off. I just thought of something that'll help. This is the pillar I was fighting it from. going all out on it. But I just realized this is going to help because it's, it's a triple shot. Um, you know what? Before I do... I should, I should make food. We can make Iron Shroom's not really gonna help because it's ice. I don't know, we got we're going with this one. Wow, really? It's a very light bonus, but sure. Okay. for now. I'm pretty sure I can get by without fighting it, but I, I kind of want to. I've been avoiding it. I don't want one that's awkward to climb up. This one should do. Okay, yeah, here we go. Let's try something.
<laughs> okay, now we're talking. Heavy hit up. Oh my god. It does fuck all. No, this, this is classified as a big boss. This one ahead of the time. That uh, that does not bode well for me. the last shot. Got it. This is an awkward spot. Oh yeah, I forgot to take the most important thing. Ah, oh, you dick. Head. It's too awkward. Another big one. Okay, go back, go back, go back, go back. This thing's such a dickhead. I hate this ability. 
You make the slightest bit of contact with it and you're screwed. Okay, no. Oh shit. Squandered. Thankfully it's not very smart. Is such bullshit. It was nowhere near that, and it still got me. Oh, not good. I'm climbing. Where are you going? I don't like this. Death beam. We should hopefully be okay. Watch it carefully, watch it carefully, watch it carefully. Holy shit. Go near, go near the original ones. Well, that's cool that I can't do anything about this. <laughs> Just survive. Alive. Sure, it's coming back down now. What? What am I supposed to do about that? What the fuck am I supposed to do about this? This is, uh, yeah, this is kind of bullshit. How am I supposed to hit it? Okay, hang on. That may be the answer. I'll wait for it again. Okay, here we go. That one full. What the, what the fuck else am I supposed to do? I can't hit it from down here. Okay, so this is, this is some shit. What am I supposed to do? It's not coming down. I mean, I'm okay here, like, it's not gonna murder me, but... I can't just hide forever. Look at 
Look how instant that is. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I know what to do. Let's go. Holy shit. Not enough. Oh, damn it. Couldn't get it. Taking a ride. Let's go. Oh, no. Come on, hit. Okay, I, I need to regroup. Once it lands on one spot, it doesn't land again. This is such a cool fight. For something that is effectively roaming. fun. Yeah, I know that. And if we look at what I got for it, I mean, these are probably going to be the strongest weapons you can find. But, yeah, I had to resort to my, my Lionel boat for that fight. Okay, and I'm down to 17 arrows. Yeah, I mean, that felt way more significant than a Lionel or a Hinox. Each one probably is just going to have a different way of beating it. Because we have the fire and the electric one still. <laughs> that is the only way to get a dragon pass. Nah, these are different. They're Gleox, they're not dragons. Although it looks like a dragon. Nadra and all them, they still exist. They're just in different spots. But this is just to make some very good weapons, so... I think a Lionel Bow is almost required. Otherwise you're just taking too long. Got 
It's a cool horse. Only three stamina. That's nothing. That's kind of crazy to see the difference between... Because this dragon feels like a Breath of the Wild boss. And then you look at the actual bosses for an area. It's just they're on a much larger scale. This is still better than anything we got in Breath of the Wild. I mean, okay, this is what, like, second attempt? It wasn't too bad. This is this is my little victory dance. I mean, the main thing is you need to seek cover when he does the ice thing, but... Look who's finally back home. No doubt about it. That is Princess Zelda's steed for certain. I've been worried sick, but no, you found it. Eh? Ah, when did you? Oh, never mind. So, partner, when you show up and save the day in the middle of my reporting work here, well, it kind of throws me off my saddle, you know what I'm saying? Ah, <laughs> oh, just giving you a hard time. Besides, those good deeds of yours just feather my reputation. You make me proud. But, uh, is it just me, or has that misplaced pony there gotten kind of attached to you? Ma. I know this horse well, and I do believe you're right. Really, you'd be doing me a favor if you kept this gentle creature. Princess Zelda asked me to find someone to take care of it. And in your travels around Hyrule, perhaps you'll even have a chance to reunite this horse with the princess. <laughs> That's the case, partner. How about... You say no to... How could you say no to keeping it? Then do it as a favor. I want you to have this, too. Okay. Also, please take this. Okay. Feel free to use them. Okay. You might still be a rookie, but you're every bit as good a reporter as I thought you'd be. Thanks to you, I'll have the full story when I write my article. I, we've worked together to chase four of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Go on and add this to your nest egg. And Tracy said a bonus. Hey, <laughs> There it is. It's pretty rare gear that'll make it easy to keep your grip on walls, even on rainy days. It's not a pair of wings, but I'm sure it'll still help you reach a new heights, partner. First piece. What should I call the horse? Uh... <laughs> Triforce? I mean, I don't know. I planned on showering this horse with love, so... I was gonna call it Golden Shower, but... I don't think it fits. Okay, we've got a special promotion where you can register your first horse for free. Okay. Looks like you've got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your rewards, step up to the side counter where I keep the ledger. I mean, I'm just gonna be boring. Oh. 
literally means gold. <laughs> uh. Oh. Change equipment. Change. Um. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, now you look up and see floating islands. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I don't. For minor NPCs, I don't read that stuff generally. Oh. Found the golem horse. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just see that? Like, three of these. Look how much healing they give. Versus that one thing that I made that had five ingredients. I don't know. It's, they, they need... They, they should have changed that. I say they need to fix it, but they're not going to. Still, yep, still the same. That is still the superior recipe. I bet you this one's still superior. Yep, that's... It's a shame, because I do like the recipes and the food you make, it's just, they're, they're just, they're so underwhelming. It's weird that they fixed the treasure chests to make them cool and worthy of uh, hunting down, but they did nothing with the cooking, other than give it a new UI. The UI wasn't the problem. Leok was insanely tanky. I was using some of my best weapons on it. It still took a while to take down. <laughs> I kind of look forward to fighting. The one on the bridge is going to be crazy. The other thing is, it's the location that they're in. It'll probably change the dynamic of the fight a little too. Because there's a fire one on a bridge, so... That'll be interesting how that one goes. The lightning one's kind of in a coliseum. So you're using the environment as well, which is cool. Whereas in the, the Talus and the Hyanox and the Lionels, you're not really using the environment. At best, you're climbing a tree to get like a... a slowed down snipe on them. But that was cool. Taking the fight to the air and just using what it was throwing at me to kill it. It was cool. Definitely much better thought out. Crazy, I love that um, when they showed the gameplay reveal, it, to me it felt like that that thing was going to be one of the bosses and not this roaming thing that's just minor. So what is this? This is... We saw this from a distance, so it's frozen in here. This is reminiscent of, like, the Ice Temple. Oh, no. Where's your friend? 
on the hill, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I wish I could snowboard and carry. What have I got at my disposal? Nothing, it would appear. A single rock. Okay, now there's stuff down here. <laughs> I mean, the Korok is effectively a ball. That's funny. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a. M is is this is this too cruel a thing? Hold on. No, is this is this really gonna work? Okay, there's something here, but I, I, I kind of want to try this because I oh know it detaches. Okay, okay, hang on. Okay. Yeah, it detaches too easily. I thought for a sec we were about to make a Korok snowball. <laughs> and the horrible things we're doing to these poor creatures. But they should have seen this coming. Yeah. Ah! Hey! Hey! Where you going? Honestly, I think this thing is enough. I could spend my time constructing stuff, or I could just... Damn it. <laughs> well, I mean, rather anticlimactic, but I'm being lazy. Or I could just do that. That really doesn't... Wait. Or tilt. That sort of gives it a little momentum. At this point, I may as well walk. It's too late now, but what would- if you were to mark every single one of these little Koroks and take- just go from one to the other, just walk it along, even if it took forever. Collect them all and turn them into a Korok ball, and then just roll that Korok ball around Hyrule. On a fresh file, I would 100% do that. Yeah, so there is something there, you can see it. Well, it's just this gigantic mass of Koroks. And all of them are just talking about how they need to get to their friend. And then you just attach rockets and just send them to the moon. Hold on.
<laughs> yes. Yes, please. That's that's the photo. Didn't realize I was being attacked. I just like that you're allowed to do this. So, I mean, the quality is still... Why did they have to compress the living crap out of it? That is like JPEG quality one. <laughs> Why does it have to be that? It would make an awesome thumbnail if it wasn't compressed to shit. Okay, so... Are we, are we saying that if I was to take... This and this. This is tier three slip resistance now. It's still not great. Yeah, I'm gonna call bullshit. Uh, mind you, it's ice. It's ice. But if, if this is genuinely how it behaves in the snow, and there's no difference between the snow and um, rain, then yeah, this is just horrible. Okay, that's how you do it. I almost feel like loading. How far? Ah, oh, it's too far away. Okay, that. Yep, that baited me. Yeah, I mean. Pretty crappy. them together. Hmm. I doubt it's a case of melting the ice. I think it's... I need to approach it from, uh... From high ground. I can't believe what a colossal disappointment this is. It's almost like it, it's coded to not let you do it. Bastard. Come on, you bastard. What? Okay, hold on, hold on. There we go. <laughs> but no thanks to the slip resistance. I feel like that had zero impact. Slip resistance. What a joke. <laughs> 
I'll wait until I have uh, the full set to pass judgment. Maybe the set bonus is more impressive, but right now. That was, uh, yeah. That was a lot of slip resistance and it didn't really do much. Mallet smash. Hold on. What? I can't be bothered. Honestly. Oh. I am the error. I see. I've done this wrong. Is that gonna work? So grateful to have had slip resistance. Damn, that's a 30 bow. <laughs> I'm being really, really sarcastic. <laughs> slip resistance did nothing.
Ah, oh, okay. How many is that now? Okay, so I can exchange for another heart. I mean, given what happened with the... the Gleok... Yeah. <laughs> it, it was taking all my hearts in one hit, so... I mean, not that it mattered, but once I got the hang of it, it was just... I'm sure I could do it without dying. Yeah, this was a weird one. Okay, I'm going back to, uh... Yeah. I'm looking at this armor and I'm just thinking, how does this offer slip resistance? <laughs> Honestly. But I mean, I think this is a neat stack here. It's like cold resist, slip resist, whatever that does. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, sneak. Bit of everything. This red glow. And very quickly. Hang on. I would assume the Armor upgrades for this are those lizards you see in the cave systems. Okay. Let's test this out, shall we? It seems to be doing a better job here. I don't know. I'm still not convinced by it. This is a half measure. It's just... They want the slip system in the game. But they acknowledge that in... it was annoying in the previous game, but they don't want to completely remove it. That's, That's the thing. I mean, at least it offers somewhat okay armor. Let's see what else we can do. I can't 
on the retest stuff. That one's probably not a bad one to do, just to... Uh, have a headpiece, because there's not going to be a set bonus anyway, so... At the very least, if I need cold resist, I can just swap to that. Oh, it's cold weather attack. That's probably uh. even better. Um... You know what? I'm just going to start upgrading stuff. It's fine. Why not? I mean, this is hero's clothing stuff, which I'm not that interested in upgrading. I need jelly. Jelly. That's yeah, all jelly. Okay. Huh? Mm. <laughs> I'm um, gonna go from... No. You're over here. Wait. What's that pointing to? Oh, I guess... Alright, for a sec there I thought it was where the... Yeah, doesn't matter. I'll go see it. Outfit. <laughs> Greetings and good meetings. I trade treasures for bubble gems. Ah, you're the nice traveler from before. You gave me your bubble gem. So kind. Many thanks. You know, it was a very special moment for me. Yes, very special. I need more bubble gems. I must have more. Ah, I'm sorry. Ever since we parted, I've been traveling far and wide, and yet I still haven't gathered a single bubble gem. When will I become a Satori? What am I to do? It can't be a coincidence. We meet again, traveler. Fate, yes. Fate brought us to back together, I'm sure of it. Please, if you get your fingers on any more bubble gems, would you give them to me? I promise I'll give you suitable treasures in exchange for them. For example, look up there. That mystic clothing there is yours if you bring me... Oh, lots and lots of bubble gems. Ooh. It's a Satori thing. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. When it comes to bubble gem, I believe gobbling down many at once is key to turning a Satori. The quantity of arse all together. Okay. Let's trade. Two. Sounds fair. Dally no more. Here I go. Ah, oh, what is this strange feeling running up ways and downside my body? Ah, it's still not enough. Not enough bubble gems. I'm sorry. Now that I am myself once more, please, here's the treasure I promise you. Noblin mask, yeah. And I'll let you in on a little secret. Ever since I ate the first bubble gem, I've been able to sense the presence of bubble frogs. Eh, uh, not all of them. For you, I can put my bubble frog feelers to work and seek out the places they're likely to be found. 
Of course, if you happen to have any remaining bubble gems, I'll trade them. Yep. Hmm, the Hinox toenail might be of interest. I'll give you... Hinox toenail? I don't want a Hinox toenail. Not to worry, these marvelous monster parts, they have many unique and unknown uses beyond... These nails come from the Hinox. It is said that monster fangs and nails don't have destructive power when attached to weapons. But what do you think happens when they use those arrowheads? I'll tell you, their sinister shape changes the arrow's destructive power quite tremendously. <laughs> Let me think about it. No thanks. I hope the reward changes. That's a bad reward. I don't want Hinox toenails. I can go get them myself. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. I get the feeling it's just that's what the reward is, but I don't I don't want it to be that. I can get Hinox toenails myself, they're not hard to get. Okay, well I'm looking at the time and I gotta wrap it up for tonight, chat. It is very late and I got work in the morning. But we'll uh we'll pick this up tomorrow. And we'll do uh more of the mountain area, cause there's a tower here, and there's also the quest there. But I, I guess I wrapped up a few loose ends around the area, so. Alright. Uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, everyone. And if you want to continue watching more of my content, just head on over to YouTube. Search for the channel over there, or go to shambles.gg. And you can find links to everything I do over there. And if you're watching later on YouTube... Thanks so much for sticking around to the end, and consider clicking buttons, leaving comments, all that fun algorithm stuff if you want to support. But, yeah, otherwise, uh, I'll be back tomorrow, and these VODs in particular should be up at some point tomorrow as well, so. I've been staying on top of these ones since it's a new game and all. Anyway, take care, everyone. I'm going to bed, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye, chat.